This video will describe how to tune the Daniels Electronics MT4E Receiver RF Preselector. The RF Preselector may be tuned several different ways. The preferred method is to sweep the RF Preselector using a tracking generator and spectrum analyzer. The alternate method is to tune the RF Preselector for best synad response. The alternate method should only be used for single frequency receivers. The following tools will be required to tune the RF preselector. A small slot bladed screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, EC48RD extender card, tuning tool, RF cables and adapters if needed, an audio connector, and a communications test set with signal generator and synad meter. For this demonstration, we will be using an Aeroflex IFR3900 series communications test set. The receiver contains electrostatic discharge sensitive components. Appropriate ESD precautions should be observed while handling the unit. To begin, ensure that the subrack has power by turning the speaker switch on the system regulator to the on position and checking that the LED turns on. Turn the four quick release fasteners on the receiver 90 degrees counterclockwise to release them. Remove any RJ45 cables or RF cables connected to the receiver. Pull the receiver out of the subrack. Removing the cover of the receiver requires four Phillips screws to be removed from the front panel of the receiver, as well as two Phillips screws from the side of the receiver. Two screw holes on the side of the receiver are not used. Slide the cover off of the receiver. Connect the receiver to the subrack using an extender card. Ensure that the extender card is inserted in the inside rail of the extrusion for the receiver. The outside rail is for the transmitter. Turn the system regulator function rotary switch to position 3 for receiver A and position 5 for receiver B if used. Turn the speaker switch on and ensure it is set for internal speaker. The audio connection can be made to the meter jacks on the front of the system regulator or connect an audio connector to pins B26 and Z26 on the extender card. You may need to add test points to the solder holes attached to these pins for an easy connection. Plug the extender card into the subrack until the card seats properly in the subrack connector. Pull the extrusion out slightly and slide the receiver mainboard into the same rail as the extender card. Ensure that the front panel switch on the receiver is in the normal position. Connect the signal generator output to the RF input of the receiver. Connect the audio output from the receiver to the audio input port of the synad meter. Remove the five dust caps from the variable capacitors on the RF preselector. Adjust the variable capacitors to tune the RF preselector. Set the signal generator so that noise can be heard on the speaker, then tune the capacitors for the best synad measurement. Continue reducing the signal generator level as the capacitors are tuned. There is no specific sequence to tune the capacitors. If a capacitor is turned clockwise, all of the capacitors should be turned the same way for proper tuning. All of the capacitors should be at approximately the same depth within the cavity when properly tuned. If they are not, there is likely a problem. Try to achieve a 12 dB synad at the reference sensitivity specification of the receiver. Once the RF preselector is properly tuned, replace the dust caps. Remove the RF cables from the audio output and the RF input. Remove the receiver and extender card from the subrack. Remove the audio connector from the extender card or system regulator. Replace the receiver cover by sliding the receiver mainboard into the far left slot in the cover. Replace the four front panel screws and the two side panel screws. Slide the receiver back into the subrack and turn the four quick release fasteners on the receiver 90 degrees counterclockwise to tighten them. Reconnect any RJ45 or RF cables to the receiver. 
The MT4E receiver RF pre-selector should now be properly tuned. For more information, visit our website at danelect.com.